my name is Hannah Bradley, and I play the violin in the 8th grade orchestra. Welcome to the March 2022 concert. For our 8th graders, this is our first concert since January of 2020. For our 6th and 7th graders, this is our first concert ever. We are so excited, a little nervous, but mostly excited. We have a few housekeeping requests.
complementary pieces, Matthew's March and Christopher's. Thank you. 
This is Nickel Middle School's orchestra longtime favorite composed by Soon He Newbold. Mrs. Thornton programs it at least once every three years because of this playful, playful pizzicato sounds contrasting with the smoother melodic ideas. The original title of this piece is Russian Music Box, and the composer explains that despite being a country torn by revolution and war, Russia has contributed beautiful art, music, and epic stories to the world. Images of legendary tales, ballet, folk songs, and dancing bears inspired this work. The piece opens up with a line music box, increases in texture and volume to an overlapping section in canon, and fades away gently as an imaginary music box winds down to silence. Due to the war in Ukraine, we thought we would nickname this piece the Dancing Bear Song. <coughs> the Southeastern Massachusetts School Band Masters Association Festival. SEMBA is made up of a group of music teachers from 35 cities and towns in southeastern Massachusetts who annually host a festi festival for 7th through 9th and 9th through 12th graders who are superior performance, performance, performers on their instruments. A music festival is a two-day event of music rehearsals culminating with a concert open to the public. To be selected to participate in the festival, students must prepare the assigned audition piece, scales, and sight reading, and audition in February of next year. Preparation for aud auditions is best done well in advance, and with the help of a private lesson music instructor. S students and families who would like more information about SEMSPA 
should see Mrs. Thornton and families are encouraged to reach out for suggestions of a private lesson instructor. Good evening. Um, I know for many of you this is your first time having a concert here in this auditorium, but for many of you it's also a welcome back. We've got a couple of um, younger siblings, so it's nice to see everybody in person again. Um, Mr. Converse was talking about how wonderful it is to return to live music, and last night at the chorus concert, I confess, I, I got a little emotional. And, you know, I'm, right now I'm the orchestra director, so I can have feelings, but normally I, when I'm the band director, I don't have any feelings. So it was really strange for me. I was caught off guard, Mr. Converse. You, um, Mrs. Young retired. She used to be in charge of all the feelings. But here we are tonight, and it's wonderful. This is so nice to be back one step closer to familiar, normal things. Um, the students are doing a wonderful job. Our sixth graders and our seventh and eighth graders, they've persevered through a lot. Can you give everybody, all of them, another round of applause? give your families a round of applause, because they're the ones who actually made this happen tonight. Thank you, families, for reminding them to practice. Um, sometimes I'm sure those reminders are, are frequent, and once in a while I get to the point of grouchy. I don't know if that ever happens. Please go practice. Um, thank you for uh, renting their instruments, keeping up with the maintenance. Some of our string players might be ready for a bigger size as they grow, so as that happens, um, I can help confirm that if they need a bigger size, and we can make those changes. Um, the rental program or upsizing a different way. When they are practicing at home, would you encourage them to write their practice minutes down on the practice card? It sort of cultivates the habit of practicing when you have a little bit of feedback. We haven't been grading them like we used to in the past because this year, it feels like so long ago, but September of this year was still a little bit different. Um, so we're, we didn't start back with our traditional graded practice cards and other things we used to do once upon a time. Um, but if they bring in their practice card each week, I've got a big band of them in the orchestra and band room, they drop them in and we pull a name out for a raffle for an ice cream or a bag of chips or something in the lunchroom. So you get the added bonus of um, a treat following the improved practicing and the improved quality of playing. So if you encourage them to remember their practice cards too, that would be great. Um, if you're interested in private lessons for your students, please send me an email and we'll try to connect you with a teacher for the instrument they're interested in. And be on the lookout for information for the summer music program. They ran last year at Middleborough High School. They're gonna be able to do that again this summer and information on that will be forthcoming, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, at the end of the concert, the eighth graders will go out the back door just like the sixth graders did. They'll gather their belongings and they'll be able to come meet you in the hallway. Um, we should be, have plenty of time before the band kids start transitioning in for the second concert, but that's what our exit procedures will be this evening. Okay? Okay. Right. One more piece for you. Hello, my name is Carter, and I play violin in the eighth grade orchestra. This skillful arrangement is based on the American Square Dance tune, Come Dance Josie. Arranger Mark Williams has simplified the rhythm but preserved the vitality and energy of a good old fashioned square dance. Listen for the lively double stops in all the parts when students use the ball on two string hormones and hear the melodic idea travel from section to section, contrasting with pizzicato patterns and rests. We're sure this piece will get your feet tapping. <coughs>
Good evening. I'm Heidi Lieutenant, the principal. I've met some of you and I haven't met many of you because of the situation, but thank you for joining us tonight and a round of applause for our 7th and 8th graders and 6th graders. I think they did a great job. Thank you for joining us tonight. And a round of applause for Mr. Thornton for all of my work. And this is not hard work, and we can do this for the last day with our chorus. We just got on a crazy busy weekend with Mama Mia. So our music directors have been very busy and it's, it really is heartwarming to see our students perform again and be together on stage and to have all of you here in our audience to enjoy it with us. So thank you very much. We wish you a great night. Some of you might be staying for the band concert. So we'll be transitioning in a few minutes. <laughs> 